Rules and use tax for state highways and bridges in county and city roads, bridges and other surface transportation with state revenue, securing four-lane highway construction and improvement bonds. Mr. Barnett, you're recognized to present your resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I come today to this body to again talk about and present House Joint Resolution 1001. This has been a highly debated bill this session. I know a lot of you all have had a lot of discussion on this, and I've talked to, I think, every member that's present in the body, myself, concerning this, uh, this House Joint Resolution. This is a resolution, as you all well know, that refers to the people an opportunity to have a half cent uh, general sales tax increase to go toward a 10-year highway bond program. All the provisions contingent on this approval of the ballot question are by the voters at the November 2012 general election. And as I said, it is a temporary 1.5% general sales tax increase. The temporary is the reason why we call it temporary because it does have a sunset clause. This increase does not apply to food or food ingredients. It authorizes the Commission to issue up to $1.3 billion in general obligation bonds. The revenue derived from this program is to be used for a four-lane highway construction or improvements, including adding capacity to existing four-lane interstate highways. The proceeds from the AHTD's portion, the Highway Department's portion of the tax, is dedicated to retiring the bond debt over 10 years. The tax expires when the bonds are retired, which again is approximately 10 years. The revenue from this um, half cent tax is to be divided traditionally in the formula that we've used uh, for many, many years in this state, and that is the 701515, which is among the state, the counties, and the cities. So approximately $160 million per year will go to the State Highway Department, $34 million of, will go to the counties, $34 million will go to the cities, and this is new revenue annually for the life of the bonds to these three agencies. One penny of the existing uh, current motor fuel tax, which is approximately $20 million, will be permanently dedicated to creating a state aid street fund to be used on city streets off the state highway network system. And this provision will not expire when the one half percent tax expires. So one penny of the 21 and a half cent existing flat gas tax that's on the books today, one penny of that will transfer to the cities and it will be a um, It'll be a permanent uh, city aid program even after the 10 years is up. If all bonds are issued, the construction totaling approximately $1.8 billion could be undertaken on selected routes over a 10-year period. As you all well know, if you've, if you've listened to the highway program's uh, presentation in different committees this year, and I know a lot of you all went out to the highway department before you came into office and you were educated a little bit about how the highway department works and how it's funded. You all have noted that over the last 20 years, the revenue at the highway department has been very flat. If you look at the revenue in state government and all the state agencies, you notice that it's got a pretty good curve to it, about a 45 degree curve as far as the increase of state money to state agencies and this in the general revenues to the state of Arkansas. This is not true at the highway department. Since we have a flat tax, and we basically have not had a tax increase for ro roads in this state since 1991, and I think there was a three cent a gallon tax that was increased at that time, we did have the 1999 highway bond program that took place, and obviously there was a three cent a gallon tax increase at that time that went as being totally dedicated to pay off the bonds for the interstate rehabilitation project. And as you all well know, we're at just about to the end of that program, and there's probably just about two years worth of bonds left to be paid off from that program. It's been noted 
that in this state we have about $24 billion worth of needs over the next 10 years in our infrastructure program just for highways alone. It's been also noted that we need at least $200 million a year of new revenue just to maintain the existing system, just to maintain the roads that we've got. This proposal, if passed by the people of this state, will be a program that, again, will last for 10 years. This is a program that will benefit this, great, this state greatly. I always say that this does not increase the size of state government. The state government, the highway department's not going to have more employees. It's not going to be a bigger agency. This is basically a private sector uh, bill that should hire approximately 43,000 people in this program over the next 10 years. What we're asking is to give the people of this state, as we have in bond programs before, an opportunity to invest in our infrastructure in this state. And ladies and gentlemen, this is a, uh, this is a good bill. A lot of us have worked hard on it. Appreciate your vote and your consideration. And I will entertain questions. Thank you very much. You heard of it, uh, an explanation of the resolution? Anybody want to speak against it? For it. For it. Uh, Mr. Barnett, are you closed for your resolution? Thank you for your consideration. This is before the House. It passes HJR 1001. Fire the machine, Mr. Clerk. Everybody voted? Has everybody voted? Cast up the ballots. A vote of 62 yeas, 25 nays, one present. You have passed your bill. Mr. Barnett moves a clincher. All in favor of clincher, say aye. Aye. All opposed, no? No. Clincher is adopted. Mr. Clerk, read H.R. 